Pro-democracy bloc Sudan Forces for the Declaration of Freedom and Change FFC ended Tuesday, a two-day meeting in Cairo. This was the FFC's first meeting since the outbreak of the war aimed at forming an initiative to end the conflict. Representatives called for guns to be silenced and said they did not object the possible entry of a regional force under certain conditions. We will agree to the entry of forces from East Africa and the international community just as the international community agreed to the United Nations African Union hybrid operation in Darfur. But under a political framework as part of the solution, we are not talking about the entry of forces by force against the will of the Sudanese people. However, there should be preparation for the deployment of these forces to monitor the final ceasefire as part of the process to end the war, not occupy Sudan. The conflict that pits Sudan's army general against RSF paramilitary commander has killed thousands. Horrors of the conflict include rapes and attacks on hospitals. Representatives of the FFC, an alliance which combines several political parties and militants, called for accountability. We affirm that we deal with violations as a matter of human rights and ethics. We demand an immediate cessation of all types of violations and the conduct of an independent investigation to identify the perpetrators and hold them accountable. Effective mechanisms should be adopted to provide justice for the victims, hold the perpetrators accountable, provide reparations and compensate those affected. The conflict derailed Sudanese hopes of restoring the country's transition to democracy, which had begun after the ouster of long-time ruler al-Bashir. The coup led by the military and the RSF disrupted the democratic transition in October 2021.